Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about ATM cards. So let's get started. All right, so right off the bat, some of you guys are gonna be like, I've never heard of an ATM card. I know debit cards, I know credit cards, I know gift cards, I know prepaid cards, but what is an ATM card? And well, surprise, it's yet another type of card that I wanted to bring to your attention. So an ATM card is, as you can guess, a card that you use at an ATM and just in case, ATM stands for Automatic Teller Machine. So those machines that you can put your card in and get money out. So why a ATM card? An ATM card is a card that you can only use at an ATM machine. That's it. You can't use it to make purchases. You literally can only take the card and use it to dip in the machine so that way you can pull out cash. ATM cards used to be a lot more common, but they're now something that is not used. A lot of banks just give you a regular debit card and an ATM card is something that you have to actually special request at some bank. And at some banks, it's not even an option at all. An ATM card is also sometimes called a bank card or a money access card. Those are same terms for an ATM card. So an ATM card is different from a debit card in the sense that you can't make purchases from it, even though both are tied to your bank account. Another thing, is that visually they're a little bit different. With a debit card, you'll often see at the bottom, there'll be a logo for one of the credit card processors like Visa or MasterCard or Discover, American Express, etc. Sometimes these cards also even say debit on it, but on an ATM card, it doesn't have any of those logos. In my experience, it usually just has the bank logo and then some numbers and that's it. Why can't they be used for debit transactions if they're tied to the account? So long story short, I'm basing this off of personal experience because I tried to talk to some bank tellers locally about this and a lot of them had no idea what I was talking about. Again, it's not something that's very common. And also, although I look really, really young, I feel like I probably was older than the bank teller. So yeah, it was kind of like a weird moment. But anyways, this is from my personal experience with ATM cards and the ATM cards are tied to your bank account and they used to, I don't know if this is true now, but they used to actually have your account number on them. Now it wasn't always just the account number. Sometimes there were a couple numbers in front of it. I think those were branch related numbers. That's just my guess. And that makes it not so safe in today's world. Another thing is that account numbers can be duplicated across banks, meaning that having, you know, an account number of like say 1000, there might be at another bank, somebody else who has an account that's also 1000. So it doesn't give the card processor or the point of sale system, the POS system, any information as to where to go look up this information. So if they don't know where to get the funds from, it's just not going to be accepted. Again, the original intent of ATM cards was so that way a person could take their card, put it into their bank specific branches, ATM machine to go and pull money instead of waiting online and talking to a teller to get their money. Another thing is security on these type of cards. So you know, your debit card doesn't use your account number at all. Your debit card actually has different numbers than your account that's associated with, adds another level of protection. But again, in my experience, these old ATM cards had your account number on it. So it was too easy for someone to piece together your information from that card. And then you could lose access to your whole account. Now, what's my experience with this card? Well, my grandmother used to use them. She would always swipe a card and then get upset that it wasn't working. And then I would look at the card and be like, grandma, it doesn't have a logo. It's not for that. Really, she just liked to use it so that way she had her account number. So when she was jotting down a form that needed it, she just looked at that card and then would fill it out. So again, that was like 20 years ago, longer. And so I'm not sure if nowadays the newer ATM cards also have the account number, but it's still an option. And I hear that it's something that is still used in other countries outside of the United States. And so I just wanted to bring it up because a lot of people use the term ATM and debit card interchangeably and that sometimes just doesn't hold true. Even now, if you go online and you look up ATM cards, you'll see that they'll be like ATM debit card. They still exist. I saw one and I unfortunately couldn't take a picture of it to show you guys because A, that'd be risky. Two, I don't know that person very well and I can't be like, hey, is this number on it? Your account number too? But 
I saw one and I confirmed it was an actual ATM card, so they knew what I was talking about. So I hope this helped. Sorry if it confused you. I just wanted to put it out there because I saw on some online forums and on some Facebook groups that people were surprised that this was still a thing. Even I was surprised it's still a thing. It's there and so I wanted to make a quick video about it. So yeah, until the next one, I'll see ya. Bye.